Welcome to Spain. Welcome to Spain. I'm here for the International Indoor Cup, which is a two-day event in France with five of the best riders in the world and me. I know I'm in way over my head, but I couldn't turn down the opportunity to have the experience of an indoor event in Europe. And thanks to the factory at Sherco, I was able to do just that. I'm here now. Just got on the bike from them, borrowed a van from them. They really supported this trip, so I gotta thank them for all the help. Now it's time to get used to the bike a little bit. There we go. Here's another good splatter. Nice and undercut. Try to get some good lift. Decent. So I actually flew into France, which was a pretty long trip, three flights, and took a train to the Sherco Enduro factory, which is in Nimes because the van I'm borrowing was located there. Then I drove four hours, I think, down to Barcelona, picked up the bikes and the parts and everything. And now I'm out riding, so it's been a lot of travel up until this point, but it feels good to get on a bike and do some sweating. There's a super pinpoint precision line here. I haven't got the whole thing yet. Hopefully I can figure out the ending this time. And they get very narrow. They're actually kind of slick with the dust and dirt on them. And they're kind of a polished rock, so not a ton of grip. This is where it gets real hard. Real skinny point, pointed upwards big gap slightly uphill the rock angled the wrong way I have not cleaned it yet because that keeps happening get to there good but I pointed that way start to turn right and I just slide off of that so I might have to work my way up to the ridge before I really turn I think that's the answer. It's just really hard. Oh, that was it, but barely. Whew. Hanging on the edge. So I'm also solo on this trip, so it's gonna be a little bit tough to get footage, but I'll do my best, see what I can do. Hopefully I can run a helmet cam during the event. it for today. Pretty short session, but just nice to get out on the bike for a bit, get some riding in. Now it's time to head back to the Sherco factory and get some sleep, So I'm lacking that too. But hopefully more and better riding tomorrow. Last night I decided to sleep in the van because after 27 hours of traveling, I was tired and needed to sleep and didn't want to find a hotel. So this was my pillow here. But tonight, I think I'm going to actually be able to use this for its true purpose because I'm in the team rig tonight. So hopefully, I can stretch my legs and get some good sleep this time.
Well, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. Jet lag kicked in about 3 a.m. and I didn't really sleep after that. So probably gonna be pretty tired today, but I'm meeting up with some guys to go ride now and have all day to ride and get comfortable with the bike. So hopefully I'll be all ready for tomorrow. I just finished up riding at a really cool spot. It was right near town and had a bunch of stadium style obstacles. A pretty good group of riders turned up. Some young kids that were riding really well. It was fun to ride with them, ride some of the same sections, compare techniques and lines and things like that. So an enjoyable day. I was starting to feel a little bit better towards the end, but I'm still not completely comfortable and confident with uh, my riding and, and the bike. It's a little bit different, a couple things on it. So I'm still adapting to that and not feeling too great going into tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'll just do my best, and for now, just gotta drive uh, six hours up to Bordeaux in France. And it's time for bed. Sleeping in the van again. Mm -hmm.